Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I wanted to just talk briefly about the portability of Linux. And why? Well, because my media PC, I woke up today and come into the office, go to turn it on, and now it's got nothing. Well, it does appear that the power supply unit is fried in the thing. Now, the computer is like five years old, and I paid maybe 300 for it. It's just a generic, basic Lenovo tower. So I'm thinking, do I want to just buy another one or pick up a PCU or, or a PSU, whatever? Um, and so I'm just kind of deciding that. But the thing is, is I really haven't actually skipped a beat. I still have my media PCs right here in front of me because Linux is portable. And uh, I'm just running it off of my spare laptop, which I have readjusted my tables right behind me here to have two laptops on it instead of one laptop and a desktop under it. Um, and so what I want to talk about here is what makes Linux portable. So what do we mean by portable? Well, when you have an operating system on a disk, then as long as you can boot into that disk and get into that disk to boot the operating system, then your system will boot. Now, if you are running Windows, Windows does not install drivers for everything under the sun on it. They have made a lot of a lot of very good progress in recent years to be able to get, grab, and fetch and install those drivers. In some cases, some of them are in the system but not installed, like available from the system. A lot of times you need to go on the internet using um, the Microsoft update to get to that. But the point is, is that when you have a computer running Windows, that install is specific to every piece of hardware on that computer. Now there is a Linux distribution that does the same thing and that is Gentoo. So what I'm going to say here about Linux is not going to apply to anything that is Gentoo or based on Gentoo. Not to say that Gentoo is bad, it's just that the what makes Gentoo so good and streamlined is that it installs kind of like Windows where it only installs the things specific to the computer, which means you can't take that disk out and drop it into another computer that's completely different specs and expect it to run. But most other Linux distributions will fall under this category of portability. Now, it does not matter if the if the uh, system is on a hard drive internally to the system, or if it's like I usually run an external hard drive or a flash drive, and it does not have to be a CD live key either. Nearly any Linux distribution that you install will fall under this portability model. So the reason this works is because the drivers for most systems, and the reason why I mentioned in a previous video why Linux actually has better driver support out of the box, is because the kernel itself carries the drivers for all of this different hardware, and on the system boot, it's going to load the things that it needs based on what it detects in the system. And so Linux becomes portable. How portable? Well, it becomes as portable as this. We happen to have here um, an external hard drive. Now, my office computer here is running Arch. And it doesn't matter if it's running Arch or Linux Mint, by the way, it is running on an external hard drive. So what I had here is that I had the external system and then uh, the hard drive is mounted into that. Well, I go to turn it on today and the system won't boot up. So it's a simple matter of taking that computer out of its place, dropping another computer, which is my computer based on my, um, just on my laptop, which is my portable Linux laptop, just plug the USB hard drive into there, boot it up, and then tell it to boot off of that hard disk. Now my entire system is up and running exactly the same, no issues whatsoever, because Linux is portable. Now, there is a caveat on the installation that you need to be aware of if you are trying to make this happen. And this is why I always, always tell you to unplug that first disk every time you install a Linux distribution. The reason for that is that you have a bootloader on your computer. So when you boot up a computer, we go into your basic BIOS system, which is a basic input-output system. What this system is going to do is it goes through and finds a boot record. And then with the boot record, then what it's going to do is it's going to go out and it's going to grab, uh, it's going to go out and it's going to grab the information on the boot record of the drive and then say, 
where is the operating system that will point to the operating system. Now, the reason you pull that first drive every time you install a Linux distribution is you always want your bootloader on the disk with the operating system. If you have multiple disks in your computer, some installers simply drop it on the first disks. Other installers give you the choice of where to install it. If you have the choice of where to install it, you can keep it in there and just make sure you select the proper disk. But all that being said, because all of the drivers it needs to run the system and everything related to the system is all embedded into the kernel, then a Linux system is going to be portable. This is why you can have things like Tails on a live key, why you can install Linux onto a USB drive, and you can jump them around from computer to computer. Linux is very portable. This makes it very powerful because while I had a system go down today, I didn't miss anything, including any of the files, even the organization of my desktop is exactly the same because it's the same computer. It's just booting off of different hardware. That is a major strength in the portability of Linux. So what would happen if a Windows computer died? Well, first thing I'd have to reinstall the Windows and then I would have to reinstall my software and three days later I'd have to go back in and reset all my configurations and then I'd have to grab my files. Now, if it happened suddenly and I didn't know and I didn't have a recent backup, then I'm kind of out of, out of luck. I gotta get in there and hopefully I can get into that disk and grab my files and things like that. But all of that being said, with the way this system works on Linux, you can take that same hard drive, whether it's internal or external, and you can just take it out and drop it into other computers, into other hardware, boot it off an external drive, whatever else you need to do, because Linux is portable. That's what I wanted to say today. If you're anyone's curious as to the, uh, my title slide down below me, Linux is portable. PSU anyone? Well, that's because the power supply unit in the main computer died. So, hmm, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, that's uh, all I want to talk about on this brief video today. Thanks for watching. Have a look at the links uh, in the description down below. And I hope that you enjoy switching to a very portable Linux.